Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to categorize when a given system of linear equations in two variables has graphs that are parallel, intersecting, and coinciding. I have here two lines. The green line has the equation y equals 4x plus 3. Its slope is 4 and its y-intercept is 3. The blue line has the equation y equals 0.5x minus 1. Its slope is 0.5 or 1 half and its y-intercept is negative 1. This is an example of a system of linear equations whose lines are intersecting. They intersect at one point and therefore it has one solution. Here I also have two lines. The green line has the equation y equals 3x plus 2. Its slope is 3 and its y-intercept is 2. The blue line has the equation y equals 3x minus 1. Its slope is 3 and its y-intercept is negative 1. So this is an example of a system of linear equations in two variables whose lines are parallel. Because the two lines don't meet, there is no intersection, therefore there is no solution. I have here the graph of y equals x minus 2. Its slope is 1 and its y-intercept is negative 2. And I also have here the graph of 3x minus 3y equals 6. If you have noticed, each graph actually coincides with a graph of y equals x minus 2. So this is an example of a system of linear equations in two variables whose graphs are coinciding. And because they are coinciding, there are infinite solutions. This table summarizes when to tell that the pairs of lines are intersecting, parallel, or coinciding. For intersecting, the slopes are different. For parallel, the slopes are same and their y-intercepts are different. For coinciding, their slopes are same and their y-intercepts are also same. That means we can already tell whether the two lines are intersecting, parallel, or coinciding without even graphing them. That is, by just comparing their slopes and y-intercepts. Example number one. Categorize the graphs of the system y equals 8x plus 11 and y equals 8x minus 3. So, for the first equation, y equals 8x plus 11, our slope is 8. And for our second equation, the slope is also 8. Their slopes are same. Now for equation number 1, its y-intercept is 11. For equation number 2, its y-intercept is negative 3. And they are different. The two lines are parallel. Example number 2. Categorize the graphs of the system 3x plus 5y equals 15 and 2x plus y equals 7. Here, our equations are not written in slope-intercept form. First, we are going to write them in slope-intercept form. Let's start with the first equation. 3x plus 5y equals 15. So we are going to subtract 3x from both sides. So we have 5y equals negative 3x plus 15. Then divide both sides by 5. So this is what we get y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 3. Our slope here is negative 3 over 5. Now let's do the second equation. 2x plus y equals 7. Subtract 2x from both sides, so that's y equals negative 2x plus 7. 
and our slope here is negative 2. So the slopes are different, so the two lines are intersecting. Example number 3. Categorize the graphs of the system 2x minus 7y equals 14 and negative 4x plus 14y equals negative 28. Now we are going to write the first equation in slope intercept form. So we are going to subtract 2x from both sides. So it becomes negative 7y equals negative 2x plus 14. Then divide both sides by negative 7. This is what we get. y equals 2 over 7x minus 2. Now our slope here is 2 over 7. Now let's also write the second equation in slope intercept form. So first we are going to add 4x on both sides. So we have 14y equals 4x minus 28. Then divide both sides by 14. So we have y equals 2 over 7x minus 2. Our slope here is 2 over 7. And we are going to look at the y-intercepts. So negative 2, negative 2, also same slopes. So that means the two lines are coinciding. Now, your turn. Tell whether the following pairs of lines are intersecting parallel or coinciding. You can pause the video and uh, take your time working on these two items. Now I will show you the answer. For number one, the two lines are coinciding. For number two, the two lines are parallel. Did you get the two items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is teacher Red Jill. Keep safe.